For fast, cheap, and reliable NBA 2K19 MT, visit the link down below in the description and use code MASSIVE for 5% off all orders. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. And as the trade deadline approaches, we are going to probably be making a few more of these videos as we are off to the first one. Tobias Harris is the newest member of the Philadelphia 76ers. I really like this move for both sides. It gives Tobias Harris, who is an unrestricted free agent after this season, a chance to kind of compete for a title, be on a really good team. The Clippers... He was probably their best player on their team, but to be honest, he I don't really th ever see him as the kind of player that can lead a team to a championship. He's now almost probably the fourth best player on the 76ers team. Going to give him some time to just kind of be like that third, fourth option that can just go be a good shooter, a good perimeter defender. You know what I mean. So the trade was already put through on 2K when I hopped in and started doing this, but the trade was... Tobias Harris, Boban Marjanovic, and Mike Scott for Landry Shamet, Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, a 2020 first round pick, Miami's unprotected 2021 first round pick, and then two seconds. So, to be honest, I think both teams win this trade. The Clippers were not doing anything. They're like a borderline eight seed with one Tobias Harris is on their team. It's going to get them a better pick in this year's draft. They get two other first round picks. Miami's could end up being valuable depending on like what that team goes and ahead and does in the future, but. Harris could very end up well end up re-signing with the 76ers and they could just ch ch they could chill with a big four. So I know there are some rumors that Jimmy might be leaving in the offseason. He's not going to be leaving in this. I'm actually going to be moving him to small forward. He's going to play um, there, and then JJ Reddick is going to be our starting shooting guard. So this rebuild is unrealistic, thank God. Um, I'm going to roll with the starting lineup probably for the rest of the year. But I do like JJ Reddick. I mean, JJ Reddick's our fifth scoring option at this point. Um, but yeah, so the bench is not great. Trading Markel Fultz is something that definitely needs to happen, like, immediately. So, if I could maybe move him and, like, him, Markel Fultz. Let's just look at some offers, because we do have another bench piece. Okay. Let's move Markel Fultz. Um, where is he? Fultz. I'm going to send Zara Smith to G-League, Jonah Bolden, and we don't even really have that many first-round picks. So, a second-round pick from Milwaukee. And let's just see some options that I get. Fultz's trade value is probably, like, yeah, three and a half stars which isn't bad at all. Brooks, Josh Richardson's pretty interesting. Buddy Heald. This first round picks from the Knicks. I might do this, but just try to get it unprotected because they are currently the worst team in the league. So could I somehow do this without? Could I just do this unprotected? And I'll send you another second. And one more second. Alright, I'll also send you a future first from us in 2022. Damn, they really don't want to do this. How about one more first? How about this swap with the Kings? And a second. This is like pretty much borderline unprotect or ununtouchable at this point. And I'll give you one more first, but that's it. Okay. Definitely a total overpay there, but I can get first round picks really easily, and we're probably going to have a top three pick in this year's draft. Um, so the bench is not going to be great for the rest of this um, season. 12 here, 10... Amir Johnson's not getting any minutes. Smith will be in the G League, so we're going to go 25 here, 36, 34, 36, 30, and then 36 as well. So I'm going to spend send Smith to the G League. Hopefully, okay, I don't even have any spots. Okay, Shake Milton can, oh, what? He's on a two-way contract? Okay. Can I really not pull these guys up from the G League? Okay, Um. no way, right? Okay, so I do have cap space. Mello would have been pretty cool. Um, no way he'll take, like, this deal, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I want to sign somebody else just so I can send... All right, we'll sign Joe Johnson. And then Zara Smith's going to spend some time in the G League. Joe Johnson honestly could play for me. So Zara Smith's going to go to the G League. Um, let me see. What minutes could I get him here? Corkmaz's minutes. You know what? I'll give... I'll swap their minutes. Um, so Corkmaz is just going to probably be our 10th man. Just see how that goes. And then Joe Johnson's going to end up getting 10 minutes for us. So the rotation pretty much stays the same. It's Simmons, Reddick, Butler, Harris, and then Embiid off the bench. Marjanovic, McConnell, Scott and iso joe so it's not the best team in the world we do have that next pick which could end up being really valuable i don't think Fultz is going to help him with that many more games hopefully this team can be good we're currently 34 and 20 and i'll see you guys at the end of the first year so we end the first year going 57 and 25 harden mvp Doncic, dinwiddie davis healed and steve kerr does get coach of the year so we end up as the one seed actually in the east 57 wins will give me that all right i'll take uh second best record in the nba so it's player stats on the year legends going by mb then it was harris jimmy butler ben simmons jj reddick to be honest, I don't really know. Like, I need a better starting shooting guard, but other than that, there's not much I really need. Because, I mean, I'm not really... I'm not trading Tobias Harris. This is, like, his rebuild. I'm not moving Jimmy Butler. I'm definitely not moving Embiid or Simmons. So, we kind of have all four... We have four out of five, like, guaranteed guys. I mean, 
of course, unless like Jimmy Butler leaves, but I'm not letting Tobias Harris leave because this is his rebuild, so he's going to be on the team no matter what. Um, we're up 3-2 on the Wizards, by the way, and we end up winning in six. I don't really think that should have taken six games, but what are you going to do? Um, Celtics in round number two, they're a pretty good team. I think the addition of Tobias Harris definitely puts the 76ers ahead of the Celtics. We are up 2-1 on them now. Make it through one. This addition was like a really low-key, like obviously oh, the Nets are in the East Finals. Um... Keep in mind, like with all the Anthony Davis rumors, there's probably going to be a bunch of trades that go kind of under the radar and kind of make a bunch of teams better, but people won't actually realize it until after the deadline, probably a week or two after that until like games actually start getting going and you realize how much these small additions actually made. Like Tobias Harris is no small addition, but like, oh God, you're going to, the comments are coming. I can just see them coming already. I don't pick cotton. <laughs> um, 76, 76ers and Thunder in the NBA final. We don't have to face the Warriors. Are we really going to win the finals in the first year? We're up 3-1 on the Thunder. 3-2. Okay. Maybe if it's SimCast, I'll hop in just because I can because it's the finals. Um, we're doesn't, doesn't even look like we're going to need it. All right. Getting kind of... Okay. Now I'm going to hop in. I'll see you guys in the game. All right. So we're up by two. This is not the lineup I want in the game. I don't really care. I'm taking a timeout. I got to make sure all my starters are in. Hopefully nobody fouled out. Uh, but I saw Boban in the game. And Boban 1,000% shouldn't be in the game. So starters... Okay, we're good. Everybody is good to go. I'm on Superstar. If you don't, oh, no shit. I didn't mean to simcast shit. Uh, jump in. Uh, I'm on Superstar. If you don't believe, no, I'm on Superstar, not Hall of Fame at this point. If you don't believe me, the racist comments are coming. I know they are. Why are you so scared to play Hall of Fame? Because I suck at this game. Everybody knows that. You even know that. Uh, Simmons has got 18 on the night. I don't know why it's taking so long to load, but I'm just trying to do something. Oh, come on, Stephen Adams. Why is Boban? Did Embiid foul out? Why is Joel... Like, this game is so stupid. Like, I literally just put my starters in. But Bobon's like 7-5. Uh, one of the best perimeter defenders on each other. Okay. Like, it's just... It makes no sense. Like, I literally just had... I clicked starters, and for some reason, this game for, wants to leave in Bobon. I don't care what Bobon's 7-5. Like... That's all he is. Nope. Okay. That's why... I, I know! Okay, I'm horrible. I, you don't have to tell me... That's a bad court and a half. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, Andre Roberson, how about you pull up and take a shot? Um, so there's no way that's going in. Thank you. Good board, Simmons. All right, just run the floor. You're way bigger than everybody else. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the pick and roll. Classic. I know, this is all I ever do, but it's all that ever works. You probably should have gone up there. That's... <laughs> You did have Ben Simmons and you passed out. I know, okay? I suck. I know I suck. The comments are coming, but I'm sure there's going to be way more comments about you than there are about my gameplay. All right. This is not going well at all so far. All right. I'm taking a timeout. I need Joel Embiid in the game. I don't know why it refuses to put him in. Like, I want to run a pick and roll with him or a pick and pop or just something. But good God, I cannot have Boban in there. Okay, here we go. Just to be clear one more time starters in the game if one of them is out i'm gonna be so mad right now okay Embiid is in the game good we're five for five he's out of bounds right now if not sure for what reason um right here okay Court, sir. Oh, almost come on just drive okay I'm thank you <laughs> how i mean how hard is that like seriously it's right over steven adams we're not at 102 130 left to go i need some good defense from ben Westbrook? are you bruh there's no way. Wait, serious uh, question. Where's Westbrook? I don't know. Probably bricking free throws. Foul. Come on. Count it and one. Let's go. That's what I needed. Come on. He's no way he's going to hit the free throw, but... Okay. Come on, Ben. Okay, that's a quick release. He's a 58 release. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, well, good thing I got the and one to go. Simmons is going to be on... There's, There's no way. Dude, that's ridiculous. Okay. The end one. No, but like, why is he getting like <laughs> unbelievable? Um, Dennis Schroeder is gonna be at the free throw line. He's gonna hit the first free throw. And Embiid only has 15 and seven on the night. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, I guess there are four really, actually five really good scorers in the starting lineup because JJ Reddick's a really good scorer as well. But he's gonna hit that free throw. 104, 107 left in the game. All right. Well, guess what I'm gonna do? What a pick and roll! I didn't see that one coming. Come on. Oh, now I have to go to the free throw line. I'm playing a dangerous game here with Ben Simmons. I should have really done that with somebody else. Okay. Wow. Green release with the Simmons free throw. <laughs> Did not think that would be happening. Second one is up and second one bricks. So we're only up by one. Paul George is... Wait, what in the world? Andre Roberson, take a three or something. 
No, 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 no. Someone else is taking a three. Oh my god, he missed. Okay, how did he miss? Tobias Harris. What in the world? Okay, I didn't think that was going to work at all. Thunder are going to take a timeout. We're up by three with 40 seconds left to go. I don't know what's going on right now. Just to be totally honest. I don't know why Westbrook... Did Westbrook foul out? Like, I'm honestly interested. Um, I think it's in the box score, yeah. Uh, Westbrook, he has three fouls and he's not in. I mean, he has six points, five assists, and two rebounds. Wait. Oh, no, he's 25 points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I know I'm an idiot. Uh, 25 points, but he's a... Plus minus, he's a minus seven and probably has a few turnovers, but still. Um, is there a good defensive lineup that, like, my defense lineup is probably... They have TJ McConnell. Over. Hey, oh, no, okay, they just take out Tobias Harris. Okay, nope. We're just going to roll with the starters. Tobias Harris, I'm just going to try to deny a ball with. Um, I'm just not letting it get to Paul George. You can give it to Andre Roberson if you want. Okay, they're going to get it back to Adams. I still don't understand why isn't Westbrook in the game. I don't know why Westbrook isn't in the game. They got the two for one though. Simmons has got the hot hand right now. I don't know. Do I go to him? What's a hot hand even mean for that guy? I don't even know. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. That works. <laughs> well, now it's a three point game. Ben Simmons is just running through literally everybody. Oh, they're going to take another timeout. All right. They got 20 seconds, seven seconds left. Russell Westbrook is, for some reason, still sitting on the bench. I mean, I guess he's not the best three point shooter, but still, you should probably keep your best player in the game when you're in crucial situations. But. Starters staying in the game. I want to make sure we end up with a W here and win the finals in the first year and maybe three-peat. You never know. But I don't really know what else. Oh, my God. That cookie would have been so nice. You can. Oh, that's the most Steven Adams tip I've ever seen. Okay, where is a good. Where's JJ Redick? Okay, you can foul me. I'm not, I'm not going the free throw line with Ben Simmons. Just get it to JJ Redick. First free throw is up. First free throw is good. 90 release. Oh boy, I'm not simming to the end. You remember what happened last time when I simmed to the end? Second free throw is up. Second free throw is good. No timeouts for them left. 23 seconds. I don't know if they're going to try to go for the quick score and then score again. Um, but they clearly need a three, so they're probably... doesn't really, Actually, maybe they are going for the quick two. No. <laughs> oh my god, bro. If that had happened, I would have been so mad. But Paul George is going to knock down two free throws, obviously. I feel like this is just really just getting dragged out at this point. First one is up and good. I'm probably going to take the free throws with Redick again. I just feel like I trust him most. Is he going to hit the second one? He does hit the second one. Um, I need J.J. Redick right now. All right, good ball. In? Yeah, I'm in. This is the first year, too. Good. This Wait, is the is first. that legal? I, no, I can hop in the finals in the first year. Yeah. Only in the finals, though. So, Redick's back at the line. First free throw is up, and oh, my God. Okay. It goes in. What are you doing in the background of my video right now? Second free throw is up, and oh, my. He bricked it. Kev, he bricked it. He bricked the free throw. There's nine seconds left. Deny a ball. Do not let Paul George get the ball, whatever you do. Andy, there he is. No, 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 no. Okay, he missed. Move it. Move it up. Just get out of the way. And okay, they're going to foul. We're good. We're going to win the finals. I'll see you guys with the finals MVP. So we won the finals in the first year. Uh, Simmons ends up taking home MVP. So I really just think improving shooting guard is going to be all we're going to have to do. Um, we are going to have to re-sign Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris. Brett Brown did just win us a finals. But I'll give him one more year. We'll keep Dylan Thorpe. Uh, Monty Williams, goodbye. I need a good trainer, so Randy Martin, please, assistant coach. I'll just go Peterson. I'm just waiting. You're going to get such a racist comment, and it's going to be hilarious, but it's going to... It's the same guy every time. It's the same kid literally every time. The last the one... Staff. Last one. Oh, the same staff. I think about the kid who comments all the racist comments. Um, Yeah, I always have the same staff. Why would I change up my staff? You never change it. So, hopefully that next pick ended us up getting something good. It fell to five. We still have two second-round picks. Um, Anyway, I can move this up to four. What? No, I haven't even drafted yet. We were just in the first year. They want two seconds, then they'll give me Delvadova, sure. So we just move up one more slot in the draft. Hopefully somebody can fall. Um, Delvadova, did I send Zaire Smith to the G League? All right, well, his overall really didn't go up. I'm going to trade this for a first from Utah. And so I'm going to draft somebody at number four, and I'll see you guys rookie signing. So with the fourth overall pick, we ended up taking Cam Reddish. He's going to be our starting shooting guard probably for the remainder of the video, unless I find somebody else. Lance Thomas, I can trade because this game is 1,000% broken, so... Just going to keep him and have fun in Golden State. Screw up their cap situation a little bit more. So now there's really not many pieces on this team I want to move. I did resign TJ McConnell to a contract extension. Um, I'm going to give Reddish one year at shooting guard to start. Um, this honestly could be a very boring rebuild because there's probably not going to be a ton of trades except for the benches or the bench. 
So I do want to re-sign Harris and Butler right now. I definitely want both of them back. Um, they both have an offer. Jimmy Butler has an offer from the Hawks. Tobias Harris has an offer from the Jazz. Okay. I'm just going to pay them both a lot of money, and hopefully they both end up coming back. And we get them both back. J.J. Reddick's also a free agent. I would kind of like to get him back as well, just because I think he can be a good addition to this team. Um, so hopefully he didn't get an offer. I didn't realize that. Oh, I don't even have bird rights on him. Um, okay, well, I guess I can offer him a contract, but I just... Okay, well, we're negative 100 and... Or 65 million. Or not 160. It said 120, but now we're only 65 mil. So let's just see how many players we have right now. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to probably trade Zaire Smith. Six, seven, eight. Um, I'm going to trade Zaire Smith probably for a backup... I don't even know. I might actually trade JJ Redick just because I mean he does provide really good shooting. He's just not a, he's gonna his overall is gonna drop. So Marcus Smart and Robert Williams isn't even that bad. We also give up first, but this is a pretty good move I think. Um, we pick up two real uh, like a really solid actually two really solid defenders. So Smart's gonna start. I'm gonna probably trade Zare Smith for yeah I'm gonna trade him for a small. Four. I mean how tall is he? Six four. I do want Cam Reddish to start. So. I'm going to trade Zare Smith for a backup small forward, I think. Maybe shooting guard, but or maybe small forward, but probably not. So hopefully I can get offered a center. Um, he, I'm not really getting any offers. Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo is a perfect pickup. We're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two with the rotation. So this is going to be the rotation for year number two. Ben Simmons, Cameron Reddish, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, and then Joel Embiid off the bench. Bam Adebayo, Marcus Smart, TJ McConnell, and Robert Williams. So the bench is looking much improved. Pretty high hopes once again. Pretty sure we should probably win another championship if we did and only got better. And I'll see you guys at the end of third and final year. So we in season number two going 55 and 27. Curry MVP Zion, rookie of the year in Phoenix. Schroeder, six man Giannis, Marvin Bagley, and Steve Kerr does get coach of the year. So pretty sure this is our same record as last year. This year we are a two seed, unfortunately. I thought this team only got better. I guess that's 2K for you. Did I even show scoring last year? I honestly forget. Um, but those are the points. Rebounds was Embiid, assists with Simmons, team stats. I think I did. Um, oh, boy. Uh, we were best defensively, which gave us the second best differential, but still. Um, so we're taking on the Wizards in the first round. I really don't think that we should be a two seed. We're probably one seed. I mean, 2K does love the Raptors. I'll give them that. But I can't trade Tobias Harris. I, I just I can't. So, I mean, technically, I could make some sort of move. I could move Jimmy back to shooting guard Tobias Harris, the small forward, and then trade um, somebody for, or trade Reddish for a power forward. Or I could trade Reddish for a different shooting guard. I'm going to probably end up making a move this offseason. It gets me somebody better than Cameron Reddish. We'll probably just have to throw in a few of the bench contracts along with that. So we did just sweep the Bucks. We beat the Wizards in five, and we're going to be facing either the Raptors or the Celtics, and it's going to end up being the Raptors. So it's the Lakers and the Jazz, the six versus the eight seed over in the West. We lose game one of the Raptors here in the East. 1-1. One, one. Please put us up 2-1. Thank you. 3-1. We're good. And can we go to the finals for a second straight year? Nope. 3-2. I can't hop in anyways. There's no point of sim casting it. And we make it to the finals. We have to face the Utah Jazz. Let's check out who they do have on their team. Um, they added Javari Parker, but nobody else really. So they are an 8 seed. I, I think we should probably be beating them. I mean, we've gotten pretty lucky with NBA Finals. We haven't had to face the Warriors or the Rockets, I guess. But we sweep them. Ben Simmons Finals MVP. So I guess we're going for a three-peat now. So let's head up to staff signing. I mean, I can't really fire Brett, ba Brett Brown after that year. Um, I'll sign Jordan Malone. This feels weird because I always fire Brett Brown after, like, the first year. But he's won us two championships at this point. It would be kind of stupid to do that. So we're not going to have any picks. The only thing I can think about doing would be Reddish, McConnell, and, like, maybe another first. I do have to re-sign Ben Simmons this offseason, but he is restricted, so that's not that big of a deal. Okay, I can get Kemba in the third overall pick. Shit, I can't play Kemba. Actually... No, I can't move position because I can play Kemba at point guard, Jimmy at shooting guard, Tobias at small forward, and then Ben Simmons at power forward. We're doing this trade. Um, ben Simmons is going to be our new power forward. I'm just going to change that right here. Um, he's a 90 at power forward. He's a 91 at point guard, but still not that really that big of a deal. So we're kind of all set. I still have to change some other positions around. Uh, Jimmy Butler has to go back down to a shooting guard, unfortunately. Tobias Harris up to a small forward. So... Let's see. Actually, after we do this. So we do have the third overall pick, and I plan on drafting somebody, so I'll see you guys at Rookie Sounding. So at pick three, we ended up taking Jaden McDaniels, who does really well in my league. He's definitely going to be a good bench piece for us. Adebayo and Williams will both be back as well. So qualifying offers. Simmons is pretty much the only guy I got to get back. Clearly going to match any offer that he... Bruh, I'll be back. Um, So it sent me back to the draft. I still have the third overall pick. Um, I'm... 
If Jaden McDaniels, I don't forget him at three, I'm going to be pretty upset because that would just be kind of annoying and I'm probably going to look for a trade for him. Okay, I'm going to still get him. So we're going to end up drafting him third overall. Again, I don't know why this game glitches and just like reports errors, but it does. So he's obviously going to be signed again. Team player options. These two are coming back once again. Um, so qualifying this whole speech again, Ben Simmons is going to be coming back. So I don't really know what other positions I need. He's going to count. So one... Okay, let me just change these positions around. Um, and I'll do this after. So I'm going to re-sign Ben Simmons right now. Just give him the money. He's going to go to the Grizzlies. No, he's not. Um, and I'm just going to announce the rights to everybody here. Nope. No, he did not. I'm going to... I matched that deal. You can still see it right there. If Ben Simmons is not on this team, there's going to be an issue. Okay. He's agreed to our contract, I think. Yeah, he's on the team. So let me just do this. Simmons is going to power forward. Jimmy's going to actually shooting guard. Tobias is going to small forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am going to be signing a backup point guard, probably, and maybe a backup small forward. I don't know. Jeremy Lin, Bryn Ford. Oh boy. Um, most trade value here is probably Bryn Forbes. I can't really even afford him, but hopefully he accepts this, and he does accept it. So we sign him on the team. I do probably want to make one more move. So Forbes, Williams, and a first round pick. Can I improve it like any other backup position? Preferably, I get two players. Rodney Hood, um, McConnell, and Devontae Graham. I don't really know how much of an improvement that is. Kent Bazemore in a pick. Probably better. Terrence Ross. Okay, so the, these are the kind of the offers I was looking for. Um, Zach Collins and Avery Simmons. But no, we're going to be picking up. Who did I want? I wanted Kent Bazemore. So Kent Bazemore in a first-round pick from the Magic was actually pretty valuable. We have. So I do want a backup point guard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... If I have any cap base remaining, it's going to be going to a backup point guard. I really don't. Um, I would sign Corey or Wayne Ellington to the minimum. He's just so old. He's going to regress. I'm going to give up all my assets. First round pick from the Magic and another second. Give me some sort of point guard, please. Oh, boy. Um, Devontae Graham, no. Isaac Bonga, ugh. Um, these offers are disgusting. All right. I need to find a point guard making, like, minimum money. And they can't even be that good. Um, they got to be making like almost zero dollars, like two mil at max. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to sign somebody else who's kind of trash. Not Courtney Lee. I need, who is the most trade value here? Uh, Corey Brewer has two offers. Um, I'll sign Marvin Williams and probably throw him in any sort of trade as well. So I can probably do like, let's just see. If I do Marvin Williams, Wayne Ellington, and this first. Can I get a point guard now, please? See, it's okay. So I'm getting some better offers. Malcolm Delaney, ugh, it's really not what I'm looking for. Okay, um, let me do this again. Point guard's got to be making like two mil max, and hopefully I can get it with those two players and all my my first and my second round pick. So two million dollars can't be a free agent. They have to have some sort of deal. Oh my god, there's literally nobody here. Do none of these guys have a contract? This is ridiculous. All right, well this is just getting like annoying at this point. Aaron Holiday is a free agent. All right, you know what? I'm just going to take whoever the hell that was and then maybe find a trade of the next year. So, who was it? It was Ellington Williams in this first. Sorry, this is taking eight years. It's like Tyler Harrow or something. Or Malcolm Delaney. So, we're going to pick him up. He's a 77 overall. I'll probably trade him at the start of next year, and I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final season. So, we're going to make this trade for Derek White. He's two overalls higher. It's really not that big of a trade, but he's going to be our new backup point guard. So, out of bio, 25. Um, actually, I kind of want McDaniels being our sixth man. So McDaniels is going to get 25 minutes, 18 there, 15 to Bazemore, and then 10 to Derek White. Starters, oh boy, I feel like we're lacking a few minutes here. Um, but 34 here, 34, 34, and then 35 and 35. Okay, I guess it's all set. Kemba Walker, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Ben Simmons, and Joel Embiid. Off the bench, Jaden McDaniels, Bam Adebayo, Kent Bazemore, and Derek White. That's going to be the rotation. The third and final year, probably should have an all 90 plus starting lineup at the end of the, yeah, can't even speak. End of the third and final year. Let's go win another championship. So we end season number three going 65 and 17. Harden MVP, Cole Anthony, Rookie of the Year, Culver, Giannis, Sexton, and Brett Brown does get Coach of the Year. So we're the one seed. This probably is going to end up being the year somehow. We don't end up winning the finals, even though our team is the best it's ever been. Um, really good season from pretty much everybody. We had another score in McDaniels, or actually two in Kemba Walker as well. So pretty excited to see how this team can do we're taking on the celtics in the first round which is not the easiest first round matchup um do they still have Kyrie? i'm assuming they do they do still have Kyrie. so i don't really know how this team's an eight seed i guess 2k just hates the celtics but i mean that's not really news to anybody we end up sweeping them and now we're taking on the hawks or the bulls in the next round like what 
Oh, it just makes no sense. Here come the Atlanta Hawks. I'm sure they're coming in hot. I can't imagine how challenging this series is going to be. Um, we're, okay, seriously, this team would never win it. No. There's no... Bruh. Who is on this Hawks team? There's no way this... The Hawks... All right, they have RJ Barrett and Chris Middleton. Okay, they're a good team. They're not better than us. Like, there's no way. There's just there's just no way. We're in Atlanta for game six. Like, we should be blowing this team out of the building. Okay, we're going to win this game. The fact that we have to go to game seven with this team is ridiculous. Then we have to face Toronto in the East Finals. Okay, this one's getting close. Okay. Okay. Okay, we won. Whew. Um, well, we're taking on Toronto in these finals. They're obviously a good team. But I believe we beat them last year, and we're obviously even better this year. Two, up 2-1 on them. We were up 2-0 on the Hawks, and 3-1 on them, and we end up winning in five. Okay. Makes no sense, but here come the Warriors. Let's check out who they still have. Durant, Curry. Yeah, they literally only lost DeMarcus Cousins. So we win game one against them. Okay, win game two. Win game three. And are we going to sweep the Warriors? Um. Well, I'll hop in and get some gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so we're here in the game. I'm assuming we're not going to be blowing this. All of our starters are in, so we're good. Um, ben Simmons is 18 and 13 on the night, and give me that steal, please. Thank you very much. Jimmy's got 22 and 9. Embiid up, and he's going to get a layup. Embiid has 34 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists. Um, but there's like three minutes left to go on this one. I'll probably show you guys a minute or two. Tobias Harris covering Kevin Durant is not the ideal matchup, but I mean, there really isn't an ideal matchup. Maybe besides like Giannis or Kawhi for Kevin Durant. So Kemba's going to hopefully play some good defense on Stephanie over here. And come on, there's no way that's going in. Thank you very much. Butler's going to get the board, push it up to Simmons over here to Walker. Okay. We'll just take a pull up jumper, I guess. And he's going to knock that down. So Kemba's only got 17 on the night. Probably show you one or two more possessions. It's kind of boring at this point. I want my starters staying in the game, so don't even think about pulling anybody out, but I know they're going to no matter what. So next time that's like a dead ball, I'll probably just stop. Uh, I'm going to try not to foul. Curry can hit that if he really wants to. I don't really care that much. So should I try to hit a three with Simmons? I feel like that should definitely be a goal. Sure. It's definitely not going to happen. Okay, that's, that was almost cool. Embiid's going to get the... Okay, I'll see you guys at the Finals MVP. So we do end up beating the Warriors and Finals MVP guys go to Angel yeah, Joel Embiid. So I don't know how we only sweep, sweep that team. We go to seven games with the Hawks. This game makes no sense sometimes. But yes, we end with five 90s on this team. This was the Tobias Harris 76ers rebuild. I think it's, again, I already kind of gave you my thoughts on this acquisition for the 76ers. But I think it's a win-win for both sides. My real winner, I guess, would be to ask me at the end of the playoffs and see how the 76ers do. If they go to the East Finals... Probably the 76ers. It really depends where that Miami draft pick ends up. But still, it's an interesting spot for them. It's a really another good score, a really solid stretch four that can play the three if he has to. But interesting team, interesting trade nonetheless. So I'm sure many more trades will be happening in the next few days. Not sure if they're going to be the impact that I need to make a video. Any other video ideas, though, down below in the comment section. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.